Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about evaluating multiple job offers. This is a question I get a lot from students who are trying to make decisions after they graduate about which job they should take. A lot of times jobs have both pros and cons and there are definitely things that you need to think about when you're evaluating those job offers. So the obvious one is what's the salary? Knowing the going rate for the job that you are applying for and being offered is really important. There's a lot of information online that will at least give you some sort of range on what you might expect for a given type of job. You also wanna make sure that you go in knowing that you can negotiate not only your salary, but other aspects of that position. So being prepared with that going rate information can really be helpful during that negotiation process. The other thing is to keep your budget in mind. Now, remember when people are looking for jobs, they're not always looking for jobs simply based on the dollar figure. Sometimes people are willing to make less money for a job that they enjoy, that's in a location that they prefer, et cetera. And so just making sure that you are thinking about whatever your budget is as you are going through this process before you accept a job to make sure that that salary is in line with your budget and your financial goals. Another thing that obviously you'd want to think about is the job itself. So money is a big part of why we work, but there are a lot of other things too, right? The fulfillment of the job itself. And so understanding the job requirements is going to be um, a big consideration when you're deciding which job to take. So make sure that you understand the tasks that would be involved when you take that position. Some of that research can be done online, but some of it is also done through the interview process, not only through you asking questions, but through the interviewers, hopefully making you aware of what the job entails. Is it individual work? Do you have to work in teams? Do you have a preference? Um, is the job gonna be fulfilling to you? Is it something that you want to do that you feel like you can really stick with, that you feel like you can succeed at, that is a good fit for your skill set? The other thing is gonna be the workload. A lot of times when students get those first job or two out of college after they graduate, there is a fairly high work commitment involved, long hours, many more hours than 40 per week. And so making sure that you're prepared for that. And if you're not making sure that you clarify what the expectations are going in and balance that with your, with your lifestyle, with your life goals. Benefits are a huge part of a salary or compensation package. They're worth a lot of money. And there are a lot of people who would weigh the benefits actually higher than the salary itself just because they're so beneficial because they're, they're worth so much to that particular individual. So a few things to think about. You want to know what the retirement or pension or savings, retirement savings plan situation is going in. That's a huge benefit and you should start participating in it ASAP. The very first job that you get in which you have the opportunity to do something like that, contribute to a 401k plan, which is a retirement plan or understand um, the pension plans or something like that that might be available through let's say a government job. Um, health insurance is another big one. Health insurance is really, really expensive. And not only for a single person, but when you have a family, that can easily run you thousands of dollars per month. So that's going to be a huge part of your benefit package. So health insurance plan, you definitely want to understand what your options are. Sometimes you do have options. Sometimes there are multiple plans to pick from, so making sure that you understand what is available to you. Tuition reimbursement, this is a big one too. Do they offer some sort of tuition reimbursement or uh, 
tuition payment plan um, as part of your benefit package, that can be, especially if you're interested in going back to school, a lot of employers will help you not only through tuition reimbursement, but also through time off in order to go back to school and further your education. Pay travel opportunities if you're somebody that likes to travel and that is part of your job. Um, you know, that can that could be a huge part of that benefit package for you. Um, as far as flexibility is concerned, here we're talking about taking vacations. You definitely want to know what your paid or unpaid vacation situation is. Um, are you allowed to take unpaid time off? What are your personal days, sick days, things like that? Is there any flexibility about how many hours you work per week or if you can work from home or things like that? All of that is definitely going to play into the total benefit that you will receive from this job. This is pretty subjective. It's really individual. It depends on what your priorities are and what your needs are. What's the potential for growth? Now, this is important if this is a job you see yourself staying at for a long period of time. This is a company that you want to stay with. You do want to understand how promotions are given out. You want to see if there are growth opportunities in your area or if you have to relocate to receive growth opportunities, which is fine if that's fine with you, but you need to understand that up front, especially if it's the location itself that drew you to that job. You're going to want to know if there's opportunities for growth with that company. And how long do you see yourself staying with that company? You should always have one-year goals, five-year goals, 10-year goals. You should always have an idea of at least ideally where you would see yourself in one years, five years, 10 years. Many people don't stay with the same company more than a couple of years. But knowing that upfront will give you some perspective when you look at the answers to these particular questions. To me, this is the big one. This is the one that a lot of times students overlook when they are making decisions about job offers, and that is the cost of living. If somebody tells me they make $50,000 a year or $100,000 a year or half a million dollars a year, it doesn't mean anything to me until I hear where they live. If they live in New York City and they make $100,000 a year, they're living in a small apartment, right? And probably a pretty modest lifestyle. They're making $100,000 and they're living in Phoenix, Arizona. They probably live in a fairly nice house with a pool, go out to eat, have a pretty nice life. And that has to do with the cost of living in that particular community. So make sure you understand the cost of living before you accept a job offer in a new location that you don't that you don't already have this information about. So are you interested in moving? What kind of place would you be interested in moving to? And what kind of job opportunities are in that location? That's a good thing to know, right? Especially if you're picking location first and then trying to find a job. But if you find a job that's in a new location, there are a lot of tools online that will let you measure cost of living against your existing cost of living. So for example, there are tools in which you can, there are plenty out there and they're called cost of living calculators. And so if you just Google cost of living calculator, you can put in your current city. So let's say for me, it's Flagstaff, Arizona. And if I wanted to move to Los Angeles, I would put in Los Angeles and it would give me an idea of how much more of my income would have to go towards things like rent or food or things like that in order for me to have the same basic same lifestyle. And that is a really helpful tool to use before you make your final decision. Um, as we know, rent, groceries, gasoline, um, travel, all of those vary greatly from location to location. So please make sure that's something that you take into consideration before making that final decision. 
And if there is anything I can help you with specifically regarding this subject, if you get to senior year and you're graduating and you have multiple job offers, um, please reach out to me. I'm always happy to help. I'm always happy to at least ask you the right questions and get you thinking about the necessary steps in making the best decision that's right for you. Thank you, and I'll see you next.